Hi, I am known as Evil, and it is October 2021, the perfect month for me, and welcome to the first official, real, actual uh, episode for my podcast. Since it is that time of year, I thought I would have um, a show about irrational fears and my favorite horror films. I've always been way into horror Uh, my favorite horror film being the Evil Dead series. So if you like to listen to me ramble about scary shit, welcome. I believe that everyone in this world has at least one irrational fear that they're embarrassed by. I mean, we've all seen the episode of Maury Provich, right? Where the woman found her grandfather dead when she was a child and his eyes resembled olives and so for the rest of her life whenever she faced an olive she screamed to the top of her lungs of course on the show they thought it would be hilarious to bring out a giant jar of green olives to terrify this woman But I'm going to try very hard here not to show any triggering images. Um, Best of my belief, I don't know what you're triggered by, but I'm, I'm going to try very hard not to trigger anything. I've had a few friends over the years who, like, their biggest fear was clowns, which I never understood. But I didn't judge that because my irrational fear is over fucking dolls believe it or not, and I'll tell you why. When I was around eight or nine years old, I saw this film from 1987 called Dolls, and that movie fucked my head up. But even worse than that was the fact that I had a grandmother, my father's mother, who would put me down to sleep in her room filled with dolls because that's what she collected cabbage patch dolls china dolls whatever of course there were films like puppet master that just made that fear even worse but still being laid down in a room full of a hundred or more dolls was not the right choice for me my other irrational fear is heights but i mean i feel like A lot of people are afraid of heights, so it doesn't really matter. This fear of dolls is instilled in me, though. And most people, they'll laugh at me and they'll make fun of me because they know a doll isn't going to get up and try and kill you. And I can't make sense of it. And you probably can't make sense of your own fear. But trust me, just because other people don't understand your fear doesn't make it any less scary. I'm not sure about you, but uh, my favorite horror films when I was a teenager were the Evil Dead movies. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness. I absolutely love these films, and I'll tell you why. Sam Raimi is a personal hero of mine, and Bruce Campbell, he was absolutely fantastic when I was a kid. On the chance that you have no idea who Bruce Campbell is, you really need to find out. You really need to Google him, follow him on Twitter, find him on Instagram. He is an absolutely incredible, just a really nice guy. I've only met him once, but once was enough. And let's be real. I mean, come on. The Evil Dead... The first one, not this fucking remake. The first Evil Dead was classic. It had the best fucking graphics at the time. And then Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Great fucking movie. It's hilarious and scary as shit. And Army of Darkness, was that was just a fanboy's or fangirl's dream come true. And they did so very well with that movies. And the guys behind those films are just... They're just fucking great. And if you're a fan, you you know exactly what I mean. So tell me. What is your favorite movie? 
what do you believe in? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe that the dead walk amongst us, or maybe they will soon enough? I mean, we are in a pandemic after all. It could be totally possible, right? Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my podcast. You don't know how much it means to me. Any comment, positive or negative, it helps me out every which way. So don't be afraid. And I'm sure you're not. I know there's a lot of assholes out there that just can't wait to bring me down. So you go ahead. I'll be right here, watching. And please be sure to check out sheisevil.com to find out what I am up to. And just in case you're interested, my next podcast involves an interview with a woman who has defied all the odds. She worked for fucking Walmart, of all places, and now, after digging herself out of the hole of a dead marriage... She's independent as hell and inspiring. Don't miss it. Click subscribe. Hey!